I'm thinking of buying a large number of shares of Tesla for my pension. But after reading a few Lynn Alden tweets on Tuesday, where she's comparing the FTT chart with Tesla, I'm a little concerned. Thoughts? Well, so I wasn't aware of these tweets. I had to go try find them. But uh, let's just jump in and look at the chart real quick and try to figure out what she's talking about. So this is the chart of Tesla versus FTT. Blue is Tesla. It's up 1,100% since 2020. And despite the downturn, it's over half off right now. And FTT is orange and it's at zero. And I'm trying to find the pattern of similarity and correlation between these two. I couldn't really, apart from up and down a little bit, but um, again, very, very different animals. I couldn't see it. I did find this additional tweet, however, and that is, I like SpaceX, but I'm pretty critical of Tesla. So um, I, I don't know why. Uh, I have great respect for Lynn Alden. Um, I have I subscribed to her newsletter. I know her portfolios, and they're very different to mine. So that's okay. But let me talk about me and Tesla. I bought the majority of Tesla when it was about 13 bucks. When the world was telling me it was going to go bankrupt. In fact, I bought the Tesla X before I bought any leap options on Tesla. And from what I've experienced, just studying Elon Musk, I've known of him since the PayPal days. And he plays hard and fast. He is probably the smartest and best capital allocator on earth today. And uh, sometimes he flashes the bankruptcy card for fun to mess with markets. He just likes playing. He's very like a, a playful child, but a genius. So utmost respect. So this is part of the issue, I think. And I was trying to, this, this is probably one of the hardest questions today. Um, and Jeff and I, Jeff Booth, uh, we discussed this in our video. And that was uh, one of his favorite books. And one I read through Jeff is The Exponential Organizations by Salim Ismail. And this is really understanding exponentiality. And humans have a hard time. And no matter how many times you hear this one thing, humans cannot wrap their heads around it. And this is what they call the 34th fold. If you fold a napkin four times, it becomes one centimeter thick. I don't know what that is in an inch, probably a third of an inch, half an inch, something like that. If somebody knows, let me know. And doubling something 29 times increases it by a factor of 540 million. You know, if you go to the 34th fold, you reach the moon with that napkin. Of course, you can't squeeze it down that far. But that is that is the problem that people have a tough time getting. And I'll share this again. I've shared it once before. This is from Hey Dave, friend of the channel. And it is a beautiful graphic that explains what's happening. This is the whole four S-curves colliding all at the same time. You have the EV S-curve. You have the FSD S-curve. Yes, I have FSD. I'm a beta user. Yes, it's not perfect, but it's bloody mind-blowing every time I use it. It drove me for four or five hours a couple of weeks ago straight at nighttime without intervention, apart from one cone that was stuck in the middle of the road, and I wasn't sure if it was going to avoid it or not, or just roll over it. But anyway, that's a separate story. But this is the enablement of technology, the very innovative business model that is Tesla, the product that is vastly ahead of the competition. We're talking five to seven years. The utter value, the moat, um, you name it. You've got EVs, FSD, energy, robotics, all coming together at the same time. And people thought the robotics thing was a joke, but no, it's not a joke. So this is uh, just a couple of other points regarding Tesla. And again, I'll try to circle it back to the chart if I can of Tesla versus FTT, which I couldn't figure out. But this is why I'm over 80% Tesla in my crypto, just like I'm over 80% Bitcoin in my crypto. We'll talk more about that later too. Nobody is even close to solving AGI. That's artificial general intelligence. That is things like the car driving itself. It is stunning when you see what it can do and how it can react to things like bicycles or anticipate pedestrians around blind corners. It blows your mind. Now, this is the real magic of Tesla. And again, going back to exponentiality, it's very hard for people to understand. Imagine a product with 25% gross margins then that product becomes 5x more valuable. The value creation is mind-blowing and infinite. 
this is what Elon's talking about. You you sell a car for say thirty thousand dollars, it makes Tesla twenty five percent margin, but then it can make the user of that car five x what they paid for the car, hundred fifty grand a year or whatever, if they use it as a robot taxi. This is kind of where this is all going, and and again the math is mind boggling, but it gets better. If you imagine the net present value of free cash flow, the value goes to infinity. That is crazy. Now, layering on top of that, you've got Optimus. And as Elon Musk said as well in a recent interview last week, the economy constraint is GDP per capital times capita, the number of people. If they nail Optimus, capita is no longer a constraint. And again, economies go to infinity especially with things like negative birth rates and everything that's happening. That is the crazy thing that people have a hard time understanding. Even if they don't nail FSD and they don't nail Optimus, the company is still a no-brainer. But this is the most important thing. Now, the Tesla bot, again, this is the age of abundance. It's kind of like how Jeff Booth talks about deflation driving abundance as well as we go forward. But according to Elon Musk, the Tesla bot will drive deflation like we've never seen before. The age of abundance, I have to stress that. And especially in these troubled times, everybody, the markets are brutal. Tesla is either the biggest or the second biggest opportunity I could find over the last five years. And Bitcoin is the other one. And I put, you know, huge amount of my time researching, finding, digging. And that's why these are my two biggest holdings apart from real estate. And Tesla has credible potential to 10x the rest of the market just on EVs and energy alone. Forget AGI. And Optimus will reinvent our global economy. It may be two years, maybe five years, six years, eight years off. I'm not sure, but it's going to change the game. That's why we invest. Not financial advice, but that's <laughs> it's my thesis. And, uh, <laughs> you know, people used to doubt this guy. But when you see him landing rockets a thousand times on their butts, on ships, in the ocean. It's mind-blowing. And as a sailor, I know how hard it is to gauge things like wind and current and tide. Again, it's just beyond complex. So, great question.